Sure. Uh, I know right after 7.2 on DCCNC was spamming her as she has received a pretty substantial agi buff. Uh, she got seven more base agi and 0.3 <laughs> more agi per level. That's crazy, so, right? So there's attack speed yeah, going to go through the roof. Attack speed, she gets more armor now as well. I think that's like an entire norm, uh, an additional point of armor. And then the growth as well. She has more armor as she goes later in the game. So uh, I thought that Lena was underrated for the past few patches because it seems to go very well with what people like to do, which is like uh, you have solid wave clear. You can farm the jungle. You do fairly well in lane. And having a low cooldown ultimate like Laguna Blade is so nice. A lot of mids these days are very very fast paced low cooldown ultimates in general so i i think lena's probably going to be some a hero that we're seeing very very frequently in the coming patches assuming i mean uh, coming tournaments assuming that there isn't another patch another 7.22 or something like that before the minor uh starts yeah yeah i, th I think you're absolutely right i think this hero is uh, kind of underrated right now um, especially with all the high armor supports being so popular, you know, like uh, we were talking about uh, Earthshaker's habit of buff recently. Oh, so, you know, because Nyx Assassin especially has been... Oh yeah, Nyx. Although Nyx is pretty good against Lena, though. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, that, that's pretty true, just ruining her combo. So, double disconnect as they just need to uh, grab back into the game quickly. FPS drops, no problems at all. As it uh, gives some time to sum things up, as Jarex and Seb will be heading to the top lane, doing a ton of damage with this combo as they throw up near power and the Vengeance Aura and the Anti-Armor together. These two heroes just work in pretty well to uh, give you a huge amount of physical advantage in these fights. Should be heading up top for the time being on the Doom, which means they're going to be throwing three heroes down bottom for the time being. I'm not sure if this will stay, but it's uh, Frost on the TB, Era on the uh, Wyvern, and Handskin on the Enigma, all heading down to the bottom lane to lane up versus the, uh, the Spirit for the time being. So, Ana Ember. This is a... Uh, this a pretty exciting hero for him to be on, as you said in the in the uh, draft. It's a pretty cool hero for him to uh, be visiting, as we've seen some ridiculous players from Ana on this hero in the past. Yeah, and he's going to be accelerated very heavily. Although I think it's interesting that he's probably going to go for a very farm intensive build. Uh, I don't know how Ana builds him these days. I didn't catch any of his games in the qualifier, but I would be totally on board with him going for like BOTs and a build like that because i'm more than confident that topson on this lena is going to be able to do a lot terrorblade his illusions are going to get shredded by all this magic damage by the lena in the early stages of the game and then obviously enchantress can steal some of the illusions and eventually this ember spirit is going to come online that he can just shred all of them with one empower cleave in a sleight of fist yeah that's going to be painful when that comes about. <laughs> and I think something which uh, Final Tribe are going to be have to be playing around uh, pretty quickly. Luckily, they do, have, they do have these two big spells to work around. They've got the Doom and they've got the Black Hole. Two spells which are fantastic versus the Ember Spirit as he relies on his mobility so much and has little to no active tankiness. So that is something which... Uh, Final Tribe will be certainly trying to use to put down this uh, this this Ember. And also Lena as well. If she gets uh, doomed. I mean, you've got two great Doom targets in this game already. Thank you. Yeah, which is why, I mean, after that terrible performance on Earthshaker last game, I hope Jerax can pull something better this time, because bench swaps can be very, very important to get his people out of Doom or to cancel a black hole. You're the worst. <laughs> you're fueling all those guys in my pubs who are like, you're doing terribly because you've got a bad KD. Like, no, I'm doing terribly because I'm Don't bad. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Get it right. <laughs> yeah. Jesse being chased away out of the jungle by No Tell on his Enchantress. An old favorite of his. Probably one of his most played of all times, if not the Chen. Dude, where's a No Tell Io at? That's what I want to know. Uh, yeah, Once Io coming back to captain's oh, mode. Oh, God, help us all. It's been, it's been a nice hiatus from the uh, from the IO meta as uh, they're Whoa. all here looking at no tell here, but they can't close the gap and uh, the little three seventeen move speed herself away. Yeah, very speedy. No chance for a gap close from uh, from the final try, but it does mean they'll be able to secure this bottom rune. Actually, Jesse still comes in and throws a uh, tree towards No Tell's direction, but no blood spill as things are going to be pretty even. Although this top rune, yeah, we'll get it. All right, no rush. Don't we'll leave it. Let yeah, I think No Tail's trying to figure out what the land situation is. I don't know what they're looking for. Uh, I think Enchantress versus TB would probably be pretty good, mainly because of the Untouchable makes the Metamorphosis not that intimidating. And then obviously you can, like I said, enchant one of his Conjure images, which also makes 
Is Metamorphosis Transformation not as intimidating? So I think that's what they're primarily looking for, and it looks like they got it. Yep, nice self fighting up against uh, Frost and Era here. Um, I worry about Frost being down here in the bottom lanes. They might have got themselves a better matchup, but um, it does mean that Frost doesn't have a jungle to retreat to at any stage. But of course, uh, can just TP over in that direction. But, you know, you, you do kind of worry because we see so many of these Terra players just kind of GGing out of the lane so early on and hitting the jungle, which I guess you can still just TP over to it, but it feels like a uh, much higher commitment needed. Uh, Nigma. Taking these creeps and uh, farming this, uh, farming these stacks here. Though uh, Nitel's going to sneakily grab this uh, mud goal and make things a little less efficient for him. But Hanska's actually moving in across to the other side of the map. Hmm. So it looks like Nitel's more interested in making sure that Enigma doesn't have a gam than making sure that Terribly doesn't have a gam. Also, I mean, Terribly is in meta form right now, so it's possible he's like, I can't do anything there right now anyway. So I might as well just bother this Enigma. But. It seems like it would be a bad idea to let this Terra Blade free farm and be more concerned about Enigma because you've got a Vengeful Spirit. This Enigma needs a lot of farm before he starts being useful in terms of black holes. Yeah, the auras are useful, but overall, I'm I'm more concerned about Terra Blade getting farm than I am an Enigma. Meanwhile, here at top lane, Notel's being a little bit surrounded here, but uh, Jibi has gone for this Devour, so he's only got the Thunderclap to work with. And, uh, Dude, all his creeps just got digested. He d devoured the Hellbear, and Hanskin converted his Mud Golem Shard, <laughs> but he takes the Alpha Wolf. It's uh, very rude. Notel's creeps just being uh, torn apart by uh, Final Tribe. Alright, so wh where are we going to see First Blood? Help an Observer out. I would put my money on mid. Uh, uh, I I don't really think that this Enchantress can do enough in terms of rotations. She has to get, like, amazing steals. And right now, again, it seems like she's more interested in bothering the Enigma than it is as she is about going into other lanes to get gank attempts. And you may see Seb go down. Uh, Wyvern plus a Terra Blade if Seb is clumsy with a Skewer, which is unlikely. But if it happens, or if he tries to retreat and Frost manages to get in front of the Skewer, then you could see Mag go down. It's uh, certainly possible, and you know, things looking a little bit rougher in the bottom lane when you kind of just take a glance at it, you know, 10 and 2 on the uh, uh, Magnus compared to the 15 and 3 on Frost, but then you realize that there's actually three heroes committed to this bottom lane. It's essentially a tri lane versus Seb as we've got the Enigma in the jungle uh, eating off these creeps, so though, yeah, I'm not sure if he's eating off mids creeps. Doesn't look like he's coming for mids now, actually. Oh no, he's just moving this across the jungle. This yeah. must be something that OG are like aware of, because I've never seen someone be this obsessed about jungle enigmas before. I, I know some teams are usually take the other approach and they're like, okay, a hero's missing from lane. Let's go push that lane that he's missing from really heavily. And an enchantress can do that because you can steal a creep, you can you know, move the enemy creep wave around, cut it off. And now Doom's in the jungle uh, meeting up with Notel. Uh, does have the TP away though, so will be absolutely fine as he gets across. Um... Went up to lane actually and pops a salve and uh, gets back to laning versus Anna here as he's actually willingly taken this uh, cloak aura for the how much resistance is it? Hmm. Magic resistance yeah, here is ten percent. Yeah. Gives more to creeps. Well, his creeps are going to be pretty tanky. Good luck bursting true, those true. down, Anna. Little flame guard. Uh, hasn't actually leveled anything up on Anna by the way. He's just gone for two and slight fists and is holding the chains and the flame guard to see which one he needs. Dude, he's like, this guy has way too much magic resistance. It doesn't add up. I can't do any damage to him. Oh, okay. No Tail's finally going to get punished for all his creativity here. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's a bit of trouble as the avalanche comes out. Toss as well, and there's your first blood. And it is going to go the way of the final try. <laughs> Jesse, TP's out of his own mid lane. He's like, I'm so sick of this shit. I'm, I'm going to kill this enchantress. <laughs> yeah, if, if you guys can't not... do it. <laughs> It's a level one enchantress, so I mean, it was more of just a nuisance thing than it was like, oh my god, this enchantress is out of control, I gotta stop her. <laughs> and look, she stole a tiny illusion. How brutal. Yeah, well, it does cancel that uh, clarity on Hanskin, who's just kind of really, really bored of Look, and Chessie's like, right didn't I teach you? How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old lady? <laughs> Hiding in the trees, giggling away. Bounties come up, and Final Tribe are on the case as they manage to take themselves three again. Uh, one of the oh no, it was actually, it was actually two. Was it two or three? I can't count. It was two apiece. It was two apiece. Okay. Oh yeah, because they just left theirs to uh, to age a little bit to top. I'm assuming they took after. Oh, you mean the level one runes? It was three and one. Yeah. Final Tribe got three. Yeah. 
I'm not going insane. That's nice to know. Uh, Thompson may yeah, be in some trouble him. here as Jesse's going to throw him back under the tower. The Lightstrike Ray will come out, but when Hero's coming in, but Jerex is already here to help defend his mid laner, but I'm not sure it's going to help. The Arctic Burn's coming out. The right clicks as well. Thompson is going to go down as Chessie finds a kill. Now look towards Jerex as well, trying to run himself Toss. away. Under the tower again he goes, and Ooh. into the Splinter Blast. Final tribe, styling in the middle lane. Dude, Nota will not leave Handskin alone. <laughs> This is relentless. I guess it's working. It's nearly level two, and Enigma is like halfway through level two, so. It's just, it, it feels weird to let a, a Terrorblade like free farm like this. And I think against like, like a Paparazzi Terrorblade, you would never do this. But a Frost Terrorblade, it seems like OG are, you know, content with it, is now yet another toss avalanche combo, and Chen just goes down again. Not a huge surprise there, I've seen Hotel get caught out a couple of times, of course, very susceptible to this match again, which is, uh, Anna getting busy on Jibby up in the top lane, Centaur Stump comes out to hold him back for the time being, but he's level 6, now he's going for the remnants forwards onto Jibby, and with Jarek joining in as well, they will be able to find this kill. Draw you know kill what the problem the was, he got the Centaur Stump, should have stuck with the <laughs> yeah, magic resistance aura. Yeah, magic resist, and then the creeps would have died, and they'd be helping out as well, it would have been great. Exactly. Era has to come up top to defend this tower, and it looks like Zibe may help out. And Chessie is, uh, oh no, he's not going. Instead, it's Enchantress. Continuing to find out what this Enigma's up to. What happened up in the top lane? So we're kind of paying attention to it a little bit. I mean, 48 CS on Anna, and, uh, well, the Doom's sitting down on 6. Doom kept going into the jungle, so I, I don't know if Vengeful Spirit is just, like, too difficult for a solo Doom to deal with. 6 CS? Because between... Yeah, I think that's a bit much. And he's level 3, whilst Anna is coming up on level 7, must be. Clearly, No Tail's distraction play is just working wonders. Somehow. Jerex dies to the Avalanche Toss. He's in the courier here as well, but uh, I don't want to ignore it. Okay, three heroes chasing down Anna right now. He could finally be in some trouble. Doesn't have the remnants to play with. He'll move across, but the Toss is in, but the Sentinel Stomp doesn't land. Anna will get himself away just fine. Escapes three heroes. Easy. Dyer's middle tower. I mean, Doom does need some help early on. Like I said, you need points in Devourer, Scorched Earth, and Infernal Blade to actually be effective in lane. But I didn't think Wave of Terror and Sleight of Fist is that devastating against yes. a Doom. He Granted, he does have the armor. Trouble. The Sentinel Stomp gonna connect from No Tail here. And now Lifetrack Rage follow up as well. Throwing a Laguna Blade, and that hero is dead. However, Jibby coming in, immediately getting stunned up by Jarex here. No Tail under tower, but he's gonna be okay as the Centaur is tanking everything. They'll back themselves out. And, uh, well, they'll just get themselves a kill and get out clean on the side of OG. So starting to, uh, get back at, uh, Final Tribe for getting that kill advantage on them earlier on. And they have an Edward see... advantage, which isn't surprising. I've never seen a level Dyer's 3 Enigma with a Dominator before. Attack. That's such a it's such a weird <laughs> weird thing to see. Yeah. Just straight up Helm of the Dominator, level 3. Let's go. Let's get some waves pushed in, kids. So I don't know if this is like according to No Tail's plan or if he's just like, well, that didn't work. Because <laughs> ultimately he did stifle the levels, but Hanskin's still getting all the last hits. And a, a timing for an eight minute dominator is exceptional for an Enigma. Especially since he only has level two Eidolons to farm with. Yeah, so it's, it's not bad. I'm wondering, did he do the same thing as he did uh, we've seen from other Enigmas where you buy the Ring of Regen and give them to your other heroes? I didn't see if that was the case. Dyer's structures are fortified. Uh, what do you, what do you mean? Uh, so it's it's getting quite common where the Enigma starts with absolutely Radiant's no items and just uh, goes for a ring of re two ring of regens. Oh, and then, uh, okay, and then pulls the it and then gets it back. Yeah, yeah, I did not catch it. it. Mm -hmm. I saw him popping quite a few clarities early on, so maybe that wasn't the case. But I mean, it's not like he's tanking that much if he's in the. Uh, or, or it's not like his uh, teammates were tanking that much. The Terrorblade was landing against a Mag solo, pretty much. And Doom clearly did not have anything in he terms of help no for his lane. So. <laughs> um, and I've pulse been thrown down here as OG trying to come forwards for this rune, but Hanskin will take it up and try and get himself away. They want this creep. No, they want the hero. Actually, they're chasing forwards for more, and there's the Searing Chains and the Shockwave going to throw Hanskin in, and they will get that kill on the Enigma. <laughs> Yeah. 
Black Hole isn't going to be out for a very long time because he's still only level 4. I don't think that's too much of an issue as Anna tries to go for the rune here instead of finding Jibby. Jibby's still not getting level 6 as Anna will throw in the chains and, uh, well, gets stumped up. Jibby will get himself away. Now with phase boots as well so we can evade Anna a little bit easier now. Uh, meanwhile, in the middle lane, OG are grouping up for a push here. And they've got this catapult from bottom lane which no is now trying to heal up with his, uh, with his third spell. Yeah, being in final try, but where's the defense for this? They want to get for the deny here instead. We'll be able to find the deny, but the tower's dead all the same. Zed coming in from the sidelines, maybe looking for some kind of cute play. But doesn't find it. Yeah, he's looking for an RP where he could turn around and not have to walk behind to get the skewer. But no one came close enough. Or maybe he was looking for a swap play with Jerax. Which I hope happens, because it's always hype to see swap into skewer combos. Agreed. That's, uh, that's, that's always pretty fun. Meanwhile, no tail. Uh, gonna go down again, but uh, we're looking towards Zero here as he's stunned up. The Winter Wyvern in some trouble. Anna and Jax running him down. I don't think there's any escape from this one. Zero will die. Kill. Another kill for Anna, by the way. As uh, so he's yeah. uh, ripping up the net worth chart. Uh, though it is actually the tiny. Chessie in uh, 5 and 1 right now, and Anna at 3 and 0. So... Not, not the uh, not the biggest hero in the game, and not the highest kill lead, but definitely has the most gold. It's going to start accelerating now that Seb's hanging out with Ana. I'm going to give him powers, and they have completely taken control of this dire jungle. Oh my god. As no tail no dies again to dying, Chessie. please. Goodness me. Like, Chessie's just farming him. <laughs> Swap up Swap onto the, the high, high ground. ground. Yeah, Enigma could be in some trouble throwing down the Midnight Pulse, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Still doesn't have that Black Pole to work with, so Hanskin will be dying alone. They get the return kill onto Jarax, however. <laughs> Alright, no tails respawn. I'm just going to watch him until he inevitably gets killed by Tiny. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, Jarax is higher level than the Enigma, so I don't know who comes out ahead. Technically, by net worth, yes. Enigma slightly is outfarming the Ventral Spirit, but whatever the case, like, I feel like both teams are just going for easy kills, and they're not, they're not really facing the hard enemies. They're just, the Tiny's farming up the Enchantress, who is just food, and this Enigma is fighting for relevancy and for voice. And for voice, yep, I'm going to get that uh, team speak back online. They're probably using Skype, that's what the problem is. <laughs> that was hot. Topson and Notel hanging around here, maybe looking for this tiny as they know that the moment Notel shows on a lane, the tiny will be summoned. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised that Topson hasn't gone for more Laguna Blade plays, but I think that's because it's not necessary at this stage. Like, Ana's doing fine, he's doing fine. Thompson isn't really under pressure to create space. Otherwise, whenever you see Lena's these days, it's usually because, like, like I mentioned in the draft, you want this high tempo, low cooldown ultimate, and you want to just constantly be putting pressure on the map. But you know, it's uh, your your enchantress and your mag and your vent seem to be putting enough pressure, and your cores are doing fine that you can just sit back and relax. It seems. You know what I'll see? We're gonna come. What I want to see coming out from No Tail. Let's hear it. Dagon. Uh, so good, that's okay, I could be in. Yeah. Straight up, enchant one of them, dig on the other one, yeah, and all of a sudden yeah, he doesn't yeah. have any illusions. He's just naked. I like it. Or I guess the Helm of the Dominator would achieve the, the same thing, just uh, enchant one, dominate the other, but... I think the Dagon is, is more in You can't dominate theme illusions. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Wait, can, can you? Oh, no, you can't. It's, no. Um, They're considered you heroes. You can enchant them, but you can't. Yeah, because enchant doesn't play by the rules. It's a bad boy spell. Dude, I remember when you could enchant Roche for a patch, and it was great, because whenever the enchant timed out, then you would drop the Aegis. Oh, okay. That sounds like a pretty stupid patch, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it was a pretty stupid patch. Rotation down to the bottom lane is uh, Chessy. He knows what he wants. Chessy's only want one thing, and it's disgusting. Oh, no tail is going to be found again immediately. Blink Avalanche Toss. See, it works. <laughs> it works. We just follow no tail. Eventually, Chessie will kill him. Uh, What's it all for? That was a blink dagger reveal on an enchantress. 
on the other side of the map, and now OG are proceeding. Oh, beautiful top. Uh, Chain's coming out here as he holds them both together. Anna looking for more, running out of mana a little bit here as he's chasing up the tower. Era getting very low. Will back himself up. Seb's coming in, though. He wants to finish off the kill. He does have a shockwave in two seconds. Will he be able to guess right? However, Eric going down, going for the TP out. They cancel Ooh. the TP on the Doom, though. Anna gets it in the tree lines. They will chase him down. Jibby trying to go on the run here, trying to run himself through the tree. Seb and Anna are giving chase. Will they actually find him here? Looks like Radiant they might not. Oh, Alright, they got it, they got it. The Slide of Fist is going to give him away. The Light Strike Array connects as well. Doom bought down. A chuckle comes out from Topson as they claim the kill onto Jibby at long last. And now it looks towards the tower as well. Have they got a catapult coming on? You betcha. They know when they're going for these ganks. This isn't, this isn't fortune. This is deliberate. 50 minute means ganker clock. And Era steps too close to the fire. And Anna, well, he does back himself off. The uh, Winter's Curse dropped for this, though. Frost coming in from behind, though. He's got Metamorphosis used here as he's trying to fight up there. He's going to use a black hole onto Topson as well here. The Lena, he's going to be going down. That does mean Anna will escape, I would guess. Although Chessie's coming in, but he's got an urn on him, so he can't blink for another two seconds. Doesn't want to try and chase down Anna here. Especially with Jarek's backing him up as well. So final try. They'll settle for the Lena kill and get themselves back to farming. Back to getting some map control as well. School, give it. Yeah, Jerex was too far, and Ana's slight, uh, searing chance was on cooldown, so no opportunity to cancel that black hole. So a rare opportunity for Hanskin to be able to look, to execute a successful black hole to kill a hero, but I think those opportunities are going to come far and few between. But if you're if you're getting you know hemmed in between the enemy tier two and tier three, you probably deserve to get black hole. <laughs> That's true. Dyer's top tower Topson? Overextending? No, no, no. That doesn't sound like Topson. He's a very... Perish the thought. Yeah, very careful and considered player from everything I've seen. So Ana ends up going for the more practical build these days whenever you have the Sleight of Fist max, which is Phase Boots and Dyer's Maelstrom, so... Not the BOTs that I was hoping to see, but still a very, very effective build. And he's going for Lincoln's next because he knows at some point Doom is going to feel like using his ultimate. We don't know when it'll happen, but it will probably happen and it will probably be targeting the Ember Spirit. Yeah, yeah, it feels likely that's going to be the case. I'm wondering, he's going for a blink. Yes, he is. Good. I think this is good for there the game. There, the Doom comes out. They've got the Ember Spirit. Anna toasted up in the top lane by Chessy. And Jibby here, there's your first Doom coming out. Well, you throw in the flame and he'll throw it right back at you, Tsunami, as he does get a kill with that Doom. And an important one at that. This is a little bit of OG's momentum going down here. He's uh, got a bunch that's now on the side of the final tribe. And don't forget, they're the team with the Terror Blade. They're the scary ones this game, especially if it goes late. Yeah, Topson's going for a Shadow Blade, so it's not like a particularly late game focused build. It's still this mid game oriented Radiant build as they smoke up high ground, find Chessie, Yules him. Yeah. Oh, no, the Love Strike Rage finish off as oh, well. Beautiful little Winter's Curse from the side. Gonna give Chessie the space he needs to survive this one. Topson getting low. Toss in. Is it enough? No, Topson still surviving for the time being. A swap to Chessie brings him into the trees, but OG do not want to try and go for this kill. They will get out with nothing. Still, Winter's Curse is down, but they've got so many big ultimates that an English ultimate is going to be up in like 50 seconds. So they've always got one of these cycling through as they, they keep staggering their ultimate usages between uh, Winter's Curse, uh, Black Hole, and Doom. Yeah, and then Hanskin's definitely getting back into the game with this uh, Enigma. He's got Mechanism completed, should have Greaves fairly James soon. Out in the middle lane, and... Skewer back as well. Chessy thrown out of position here. It's the Antiala coming in, the Lush, everything being used. Laguna Blade, everything thrown at Chessy, and they will be able to bring this Tiny down. The mountain crumbles as Oji looks towards their middle lane, pinging out this tower. Wow, this is what they I were mean, able right? to do that without RP. Uh, bottom lane doesn't need to be counter pushed as well, but yeah, magic to do it without RP, absolutely. And now this uh, middle lane tower, it's uh, going to be in some trouble. And this is right, this is kind of what we've been seeing, right? Final tribe, they're getting a ton of kills. Get, they've, they've had 11 kills so far. What have they done with that? Not a whole they I, they haven't done much, but I think at the minimum, their goal is to buy time for Frost. Yeah. Whenever you have yeah. a Terror Blade on your team, you're just oh, like trying to create enough distractions. Now, Anna's going to go for this. There is a Sunder available. Anna tries to dodge it, but doesn't quite work out. Might still be winning this fight all the time. The Reflection doing a fair amount of damage to Anna there. He's got another slight of this as Frost just turns around, throwing down the Metamorphosis. Does give up on the kill, though. Doesn't want to try and chase too far. He got a meta transformation out, so I think that's a win in Ana's book, as the rest of his team is taking Roche uncontested, so 
He absolutely does his job. I'm gonna shrine up. TP's down for another 20 seconds, so he's not gonna be able to join his team. But they're probably planning on giving the Aegis to Topson anyway. Or Ana's walking his way over. Says okay. Clearly they're conferring on who to give the Aegis to, and he's like, okay. okay give it to me, it. boys. <laughs> Oh, yep, he is going to come over, clearing a space in that inventory and grab himself his Aegis. I mean, this is who you want to see the Aegis on, really, if you're OG. I think uh, it would be kind of wasted on Marina, because if she dies once, it's very likely she's going to die twice. I, I would agree, but she has a Shadow Blade, and so that makes me feel like she's allowed to be more invasive than most Linas who are kind of staying behind. And Seb also has a Blink Dagger, so I feel like if you can lead off with a really safe Yules out of Shadow Blade initiation, then, you know, be okay giving Lena a life away, but the way Ana plays, you almost always want to give that dude an Aegis. Because if he's as good as he is with one life, <laughs> yeah, give him another one. Second one will possible. only help. A group member this mid lane, the tower is already down here though, so are they really trying to go high ground right now? Or do they just want to kind of take some map presence here? It does look like that. I think they just want to force the TB back. They know Meta's down for another minute, Radiant so they want to do stand. something with it. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. But the Radiant's bot tower is going down quite quickly. Yeah, these illusions are starting to get into work with this catapult as well, and even the Eidolon's helping out. There is a lot here to push in this tower, but oh gee, they're up onto the high ground. The <laughs> middle tower is going down even faster as uh, there's no response to the tier 3 as of yet. Final drive, you have to defend this one. Yeah, they can't do anything though. Like, you That's can't do a toss play on Ana because he has a remnant, he has an Aegis. So, sending Ana up here is a great idea. And they, they can't do anything to him, anything they do, and that's assuming that Jerex doesn't even swap. This is just the first life, and now Jerex is looking for an offensive swap. Yeah, change may out find on the low ground. It. Oh, oh the RP. RP! Landing onto 3-step, oh, brings him back, bringing him down, but there's a Winter's Curse to try and turn this one around. Swap out, though, could have made a little bit of space. Maybe Thompson's Curse 5 this one will use himself up to help himself survive. Jimmy and Hanskin are down, so no black holes for this fight, but in comes the Laguna Blade, bringing down Chessie. He's going to buy back into this one. They certainly want to fight as down goes Thompson. Frost will get the kill onto No Tail. Uh, sorry, no tail get a kill onto Frost as he chases forwards and with this era. impetus and error going down. The impetus too damn strong. At level 12 and Jantris now as they win the fight on the high ground and the Rax will be their prize. Oh dear, final drive. Starting to feel it slipping away. They must have been so hopeful after their win against NIP, but this series versus OG proving much, much tougher for them. Surely, surely Anas get himself back. He might have come a little bit too he's far, but he's the got ages. the ages, so he's not too afraid of this one as they break oh. down the Enigma. Oh no. The Night Pulse? Oh, he's still alive. He's still alive. It's uh Anna wants to die. He's yeah, like, dude, yeah, I he's need like, full mana. Please, please kill me. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Chessie is obliging. He can't turn down a free ages. I so so rarely do teams get so abused for having Metamorphosis on cooldown. But that was brutal. It was a one minute window that they had, and they got, what, two buybacks, a tiny buyback, a wyvern buyback, and a full set of racks, and they lose literally nothing. Yeah, well, they lose the Aegis. Well, they lose Topson, you know. and they lose Aegis. Yeah, they lose Topson, yeah, two, two important things. But in the grand scheme of things, I think they're, they're more than content with that turn of events. Mana is just absolutely feeling it right now. No fear in the world. He just walks around the enemy side of the map completely on his own. He is by he's got Hastrun, he's got Lincolns. You need so many spells to keep this Ember Spirit under control. Yeah. I mean, they have him. They've got the Doom, they've got the Black Hole. They didn't use any of it in that fight, but uh, still seems like an impossible. At least this time he only has one life, hopefully. Yeah, that's true. It does make the Doom and the, uh, the Black Hole a lot more threatening. I mean, ideally what they can do is they can curse someone around Ana, and then they waste some other spell to pop his Lincolns, and, and then they Doom him while he's cursed. Is the Avalanche going to hold them back for the time being, though? As Hans gets runs forwards, he's got the Black Hole to work with. Lincolns popped, Ana pieces out. Yep, he's gone. Does not want to get doomed to that deep in. And neither does Jerax, because if, if he gets doomed that far, then guess who's going to be there? Because <laughs> to save yeah. him. Jerax's like, well, <laughs> he's going to die. And No-Tail doesn't even care. He's willing to throw his life away 
He just wants to zone these people out with impetuses. He's got triple bracers, so as it is, he's fairly tanky in his own right. Doom? Go. They've got it in the Lena for the time being as uh, Jibby takes some fire here. They will be able to bring down the Doom. Does buy back as uh, so the Winter's Curse comes out into the Magnus. Now all they have to control up Ana is a Black Hole. And he's taking a ton of damage. Swap down to the high ground. Chessie in some trouble here. Does blink himself up. So should be okay for the time being. But OG still just continuing to knock on the door. Slight of Fist after Slight of Fist being thrown out into the final tribe here. They're running forward. So they want to find Ana. They're doing a lot of damage with the Avalanche as well. But he's able to get himself out. The RP on the back line. So they're going to land onto the Terror Blade here. Can they follow up? Yes, oh. they can. They're going to they comes into the black hole onto nobody as well. Hanskin, no. Well, they jump in. They get the stomp onto two. Anna dropping low, but he's always dropping low, but never going down. Hanskin's going to die. They jump in. Jibby dropping low on health. Thompson is the one who's going to survive as well as Jibby dies for a second time. That's a dieback from him. The Light Striker Ray comes out on the Tiny and Chessie's dieback as well. This is looking grim. Maybe a little bit more than grim. Maybe it's over. And onto the high ground, though. Surely... Surely they have to back out now. They don't have any health remaining, but Notel says, hey guys, what up? <laughs> Gather around. I've got salves. I've got attendance. I've got all your needs. <laughs> Look at the tits coming out. The ambulance arrives and then Charm just heals everybody up. Health for shards. I like to think that Notel was walking down the lane going, wee oo, wee oo, wee oo. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> maybe maybe is, we should ask them that after the game. This push is not ending. Going onto the racks, it is not. And they're like, how are they all full health? How did this Oh. Oh, yeah, charge through the game. And the top racks are down. One barracks remaining. That is all that's left of Final Tribe's hopes and dreams of going to Disneyland. Well, I'm convinced that Honor is back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, granted, this, these are not these are not tier one teams yet, but in terms of like his his presence in the game, I'm convinced. Given the time he's had to practice, and um, you know, he hasn't been back. Well, he's been right. back like a couple of months, maybe. You know, it takes a lot longer than that to fully gel as a team. But you wouldn't have thought so watching Honor play today. And yesterday. Yeah, and how he is playing with the rest of his team, like you said, you can't just get back immediately into form, but they seem to be making a strong case that you just give this boy a week and he'll turn you into a TI champion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's uh, nothing short. Frost uh, playing the other side of the map for a little bit there as he's just using this uh, this man's style to farm up as quickly as possible anywhere he can. He's looking for this BKB, oh. I mean. It'll be I see a... Oh, he's going for Radiance, damn it. I see a Relic in Ana's inventory, but it's Radiance, not Radiance. Even for Ana, that might be a little bit too much. <laughs> You're talking about the man who built a Meteor Hammer on Phantom Assassin at the end of his game against <laughs> Alliance? Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Can't argue with that. The final wave now being pushed in for OG. Come into this bottom lane. Final tribe set to defend. It's looking rough though. But they do have these ultimates. You know, we, we keep talking coming back to them. I mean, unfortunately the black hole wasn't great. Um, but hey, next time around, you know. Quite, quite generous of you, Nomad. It wasn't great. It wasn't great, no. Um, it zoned them back though. It did. A bit. The They're going for the wraparound. I love this. It's a smoke. They're coming around the back lines. Okay. They've got 10 seconds until the black hole comes up. So they just need to wait for that a little bit longer. Aww. They come back into the base. All right. And uh, I'm popping those smokes in deep with the slant of this. I really think the play is you, you just curse someone next to Ana, and then you pop his Lincoln with your Splinter Blast, and then you doom him. Go and the Laguna Bay coming out. They've nearly got the Doom bought down. Yes, they do. He does not have buyback either, so that means no Doom for this fight. Jarrett's coming in, throwing in the stun. Might be dropping himself. There's a Midnight Pulse takes him away. Frost fighting up. Gonna have to mantra himself off. There's No Tail doing a ton of damage. Oh, he's got oh, to he's thunder his teammate. Him. And they're both gonna go down, but what other choice did he have? It's so desperate as Jesse tries to come in the back lines. Seb just taunting the RP. Will now throw it down and screw himself. He looks for the Y, but as they'll finish off Jesse. Final tribe. Final game, Good final game. moments. It is okay. all over now. Whoa. They will just turn around and kill No-Tail, which rampage. probably felt pretty good. Anna gets the Rampage, a fitting way to end these qualifiers for OG. As Anna is back, OG will be making it to the major. Good luck in Disney. <laughs> Good luck in Disney.